Agile presents with orbital proptosis, dental deformities, mid-face hypoplasia, and some hearing defects. His seat is seen as below. So, what are the options? Crozons, Uppert, Carpenter, none of the above. See, uh, there are two, three clues in this question. One is your orbital proptosis. That is a main clue. Orbital proptosis is one clue. Then your dental deformities, mid-face hypoplasia, and some hearing defects. In CT, you can see something. Right, you have a clover leaf skull. Right, clover leaf is you have a very uh, clover leaf uh, shaped skull. Okay, so coming to the uh, lesion, like this syndrome is a Crozon syndrome. It's a Crozon syndrome. It is characterized by clover leaf skull. Okay, it is a very rare disorder characterized by a premature, premature craniosynostosis. Okay. So, what are the clinical spectrum in this? The clinical spectrum is mainly characterized by uh, mid-face hypoplasia. We will come to the other features, but the spectrum of clinical features are mid-face hypoplasia, bifid uvula, okay, bifid uvula, then abnormal uh, calvarial shape, okay, which is called clover leaf skull, shallow orbits, with exophthalmus, exophthalmus, okay. These are the few clinical spectra, okay. So, apart from this, uh, what other information that you need to know about croissants is, we have few other features. I am going to enumerate all of those features. One is your cranial deformity, most important cranial deformity, okay. These are very important, you, you should not miss only. Uh, ocular hyper per telorism. Third one is your exophthalmos. You should not even forget one in it because everything can be asked. These are very important lesions. Your maxillary hypoplasia with relative mandibular prognathism. Okay. Then you have a short upper lip. Whatever I am telling in this question, they are very important. Everything is an MCQ. Every finding is an MCQ. Then you have a deviated nasal septum. Then you have nystagmus. You have parrot beak nose. Very, very, very important parrot beak nose. This can be seen even in syphilis and other condition. But here also you can see it. What are occasional findings? Occasional findings, you will have epilepsy. Epilepsy, uh, spontaneous luxation of eye, uh, eyelids, then you will have scoliosis, scoliosis of your thoracic vertebra. Thoracic of the scoliosis of your thoracic vertebra. Okay. Uh, what is the other things that you need to know is it is caused by a mutation. What what is a mutation? Mutation in FGFR2 gene mutation. Okay. It's caused by mutation in gene FGFR2. So, what are these FGFR2? So, the protein encoded, uh, this is fibroblast growth factor receptor 2. Okay. It is located on the chromosome number 10. Okay. 10 Q26.13. Okay. So, what, how do you, so what is this protein? Uh, I'm going to explain this. This protein encoded by this gene is a member of uh, fibroblast growth factor family where your amino acid is sequenced is highly conserved between the members of that family. Okay, So, what happens is this uh, extracellular portion of the protein will interact with your fibroblast growth factors, Okay, ultimately influencing your mitogenesis. Okay, Understand this point, it, it influences your mitogenesis and your differentiation. Okay, most important thing, it, it influences your mitogenesis and your differentiation. It has a high affinity for your keratinocyte growth factor. Okay, growth factor. So, keratinocyte growth, growth factor. Okay, what happens is this. Uh, only one thing you have to remember. It in, interacts with your uh, fibroblast growth factor and causes, it influences your mitogenesis and differentiation. Okay, so mutations in this uh, gene is associated with uh, Crozon. Other syndromes are Fifer, Fifer syndrome, then uh, Uppert syndrome. You have 
another called C3 Sodzin syndrome. I'm just writing the spelling C3 Sodzin syndrome. Then you have Jackson Weiss syndrome. Okay, those are the important syndromes coming under this uh, gene. In radiography, you will see an ideal uh, clover leaf skull which is very important. So, how do you differentiate among the other options is the question now. You have upwards, you have carpenter, right? Upwards has a very similar uh, clinical features like brachycephaly, hyperplastic midface, hypertelorism and proptosis. Okay, it can be distinguished by your uh, and you have common radiographic features. Like say in crossons we had uh, impacted teeth, ectopic eruptions, supernumerary teeth and all there. In uh, upper syndrome also you will have all that. Okay. In uh, Apart from that, in upper, how do you differentiate is, it is distinguished from croson if a patient presents with the neurological deficits. Okay, neurological deficits. Deficit. Then you have syndactyly syndactyly and your fusion of cervical vertebra. You had one other option like carpenter. This is also very similar. Only one thing in carpenter is you have preaxial in carpenter syndrome. You have one other important feature. Okay. Carpenter syndrome, it's, it, it is really similar to your upward, uh, upward and crozon. Only difference in your uh, Carpenter syndrome is your, one is your uh, same, craniosynostosis, all other features are very similar. Only thing that differentiates from your uh, upper is your craniosynostosis and you have preaxial polysyndactyly, okay. Preaxial polysyndactyly, okay. This is only the difference and it is autosomal recessive. That only thing that you have to understand. So, in CT, if you have, you have a clover leaf, okay. Clover leaf, uh, I, I hope you know what is clover leaf. Clover leaf is something which is like, it resembles a clover leaf, okay. So, it is like this, right. See, you have a very, wait, I'll just draw a clover leaf. You have like this, see, you have a clover leaf shaped skull, okay. This is a Crozon shape, Crozon syndrome. So, we have seen what is Crozon syndrome, what is the, this is clinical spectra. With these only you can identify what are the other features. We we saw what are the other features of it, okay. And then you uh, saw various clinical features, then you had rendering presentation, then you had, you had learnt so much about your mutation and what are the other syndromes affected by the same gene mutation, then how did you differentiate the other options. I hope the concept is clear. So, the answer for this is Crozon syndrome.